this was one of the best looking ones. This is right. this is one that was, you know, holding the 50 day moving average line. Um, it was, you know, the relative strength was just so strong on this. And it just kind of goes to show that, you know, with an earnings, you you, you never know. Uh, sometimes, you know, they, they, they say it's baked in the chart. Well, this this wasn't. Um, this is one of those things that a lot of a lot of times the information because of regulation FD, uh, that's that's fair disclosure. Um, it's it's not being leaked out uh, like it used to. Uh, that kind of made made for some of the information to get priced in a little bit better. So this is something that isn't priced in. It's you know getting getting told to the market all all together at one time, and the the players all have to make a, a snap decision on how that particular earnings report changes how that particular stock should be valued. Um, and in the case of you know Google. Uh, that that was a big adjustment. Now sometimes right. you see um, the snap judgments. You know, cooler heads come in and say, "Oh, you know what? Uh, here's a little detail that we need to make adjustments." You know, one way or the other. Um, but certainly uh, a, a poor reaction right now. Uh, getting right. back to the really NASDAQ, quickly, really oh, yeah. quickly before we move on, sure. for traders in this stock, what should they be doing here? What should they be thinking about in the in the opening minutes? You know what my my off my answer often with uh, stuff like that is it depends right because where where did you get in um, if this is something that you've been holding on to for a while um, you know you might be handling it differently there's some folks that you know if if you've been holding on to it for a, a long time you might be saying well gosh you know the forty week moving average line is my line in the sand um, if it's a more recent buy uh, then you're going to be handling it differently as a rule of thumb. Uh, what I do a lot of times is I'll look at the first five minute bar um, and I'll, I'll have that be my line in the sand. And so right now, the first five minute bar, it made a low of 126.40. Uh, the stock is trading at 127 right now. That low is holding for now. Um, but that's, that's where I'll, a lot of times I'll set an alert. And a lot of times, sometimes that second five minute bar, it'll you know, whip below that low and then it'll come back. But I've, I've got to have a line in the sand somewhere. So for me, that's what I do a lot of times if I'm in something and, um, you know, whether it's earnings, whether it's news, uh, you know, no matter what, that's, that's the way I'll handle it a lot of times. So I'll just put that line right there at the low. Um, and if it crosses it, you know, a lot of times uh, I, I, I'm out. 